Today's video is all about lunches. And while I do intend to show you lunches that my kids are packing for school, I hope to share some ideas that will be helpful to almost anybody. And I intend to show you things that I purchase and how I organize my pantry and my fridge and my freezer to make for easy lunch packing. But I'm also going to show you what my kids actually packed in their lunches across several days of the week. If you are a parent who loves to get creative packing your kids' lunches, then I think that is fantastic, more power to you. But in our household, our kids, for the most part, pack their own lunches whenever they are taking a lunch to school, and they have been doing this pretty much from the time they were school age. Our oldest daughter is almost 13 years old, and even when she was five years old and in kindergarten, we were able to show her how to make some really simple sandwiches or tortilla roll-ups or maybe homemade Lunchables with cheese and crackers, and then add in a little fruit, maybe a yogurt cup, maybe a package of chips or a treat to create a complete lunch for her to have at school. So it takes a little bit of work up front because we do have to set some parameters and some guidelines and kind of monitor it for a little bit. But after a while, it really pays off because that is something that I don't have to do the night before or the morning of. And I think it gives the kids ownership. I know that they will eat what they are packing because they're choosing it and it teaches them a little bit of responsibility right for my younger kids lunches today McKenna has a croissant with some pepperonis and cheese we're trying to use these up from a dinner the other night a few crackers some cucumbers and some red bell pepper down there and then she has an applesauce pouch that she says she's going to use at her snack time and then she has a package of these cookies from partake brick has a yogurt and some pepperonis and some Doritos. And in here he has a little bit of applesauce and some of those little cookies and some grapes. For his snack, he is taking a popcorn. This is what my oldest daughter is taking with her. And she essentially has to pack two lunches or two meals because she goes straight from school to swim practice. She rides the shuttle over to the aquatic center and then they have about an hour to work on homework and have something to eat and kind of chill out and then they have a two hour practice. And if you have athletes, especially if you have athletes in cardiovascular activities, you know that they need a lot of energy. So she has a croissant sandwich here with turkey and pepperonis and cheese. And then she has some grapes and a few graham crackers and some cheddar bunnies in her little lunch container here. And I assume that's what she's having for her first lunch. And then for a kind of snacky second lunch, second meal, half meal, whatever you want to call it, she's got some crackers and a baby bell and then an applesauce and then one of these Thrive Market organic fruit circles, fruit snack thingies. So that is what she is taking with her today along with her water bottle. I actually took almost the exact same lunch any day that I took my lunch of fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, and that's fine. But I have learned that one of the ways that I can get my kids excited about doing this task of packing their lunches themselves is to offer a little variety from time to time. They do tend to choose some of the same things and the same entrees in their lunches across the months, but sometimes it's nice to have some new things to choose from, which is why I am delighted to be working again with Thrive Market to bring you today's video. I am unpacking my Thrive Box as I get my pantry and fridge organized for the school year because there are several things that I purchased specifically for that in here. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery retailer on a mission to make healthy living affordable for everybody. On their easy to use website and their user-friendly app, there are a variety of natural and organic products that are priced below traditional retail. And you can sort the products according to lifestyle. So if you have decided that you are going to eat low carb or keto, you can look at all of the keto or low carb products. If you have decided that you are gonna go vegan or vegetarian, you can look at products that fit those parameters. If you have somebody in your household that needs to eat gluten-free, you can see all of the gluten-free products, so on and so forth. 
Right now, Thrive Market is offering a great deal for new members. Whenever you follow the link in the description box below or you visit thrivemarket.com slash cmindymom and you sign up for a membership, you're going to get 30% off your first order plus a free gift worth up to $50. And the deals don't stop there. I often get really fantastic deals at Thrive Market. In fact, several of the items that you are seeing me unpack here, I actually got an additional 25% off because they were running a sale for back to school. And whenever I am placing an order in the app or on the website, there are often free items that I can add to my order, which is actually how I got these Snack Mates chicken and maple snack sticks. There are five of them here. So these will be great for my kids to pack in a lunch or to take to a swim practice or to basketball camp. Plus Thrive Market has a savings guarantee. So if you find a better price somewhere else, they will match it. You can pay for a membership month to month, but the best bang for your buck is to purchase an annual membership. It comes out to just around $5 a month. Plus for every membership that is purchased, Thrive Market will actually give one away to a family in need, which can be a big blessing, especially for households that have special dietary restrictions and maybe don't have access to the kinds of stores that would carry the things that they need. These beef sticks are good. These little mini kids beef sticks from Mission Meats this is a package of 24 little mini bee sticks. Mm. Highly recommend. So thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to go to thrivemarket.com slash cmindymom or you can visit the link in the description box below. Whenever you sign up for a membership, you're gonna get 30% off your first order plus a free gift worth up to $50. My husband had a lunch meeting at the church yesterday so he brought over some of the leftovers and that is what is in Brick and McKenna's lunch today. They have a turkey sandwich from Schlotzky's and a bag of chips and then a cookie. I think there's half a cookie in here and then an apple. And they are taking some of these Thrive Market fruit circles for a snack. And that will be their lunch today. Ruthie's lunches also include some Schlotzky's leftovers, but it looks like she has an Italian sandwich. I think she's added some things to her sandwich to make it a uh, kind that she likes. And then she also has a baby bell and some carrots in here. She's got some snack mix and applesauce and an apple, some cheddar bunnies. And then these were cupcakes left over from the same event. And again, she's got to pack lots of food because she's basically out of the house all day and she has a two hour swim practice, which takes a lot of energy. One of the things that helps in encouraging kids to pack their own lunches is to keep in mind that if they can't see it, they can't pack it. So I try to organize my kitchen in such a way as to keep things visible for them that make really good lunches or out of the house snacks or meals. I don't have a perfectly organized <laughs> pantry, fridge, or freezer. I'm usually making do with what I have. I mean, these bins came from the Dollar Tree years ago and I just keep repurposing them and using them to hold different things in my pantry. Like I keep fruit cups and applesauce pouches in this bin that's green. Kind of made sense. This bucket is full of little snack size pouches of crackers and chips and popcorn. I have another basket with some chips and crackers and things right now because we happen to have quite a few options. This was clearly <laughs> something that somebody sent a birthday gift in and I have just repurposed it to hold beef sticks. So I don't really <laughs> go in for the really special pretty containers in my pantry, but it's functional. And as far as my refrigerator goes, I try to keep things that are really good for sandwich making in one drawer. And I have these little containers, again, that came from Dollar Tree. I was using them somewhere else in my house, but I cleaned them out and repurposed them for the refrigerator because they made great holders for cheese sticks, for yogurt sticks, and individually packaged snacks like that. I think right now I have some perfect bars and some Clio bars in there as well. And they were just the perfect size for that. And they're right there where the kids can see them. So they know they can grab those for a snack as they're leaving their house or to throw in their lunch bag. And of course, I also have fruit in the fruit crisper and veggies in the veggie crisper. They know where to go to grab those things to put in their lunches as well. This is Bricks and McKenna's lunches for today. And they know the way to their mom's heart. They are taking the last of the Schlotzky's sandwiches that were left over and that's because they don't want anything to go to waste. So like I said, apple and the tree, maybe they are learning something from me. So McKenna has one of these little Schlotzky sandwiches and then she has some cucumbers 
and some apples. She even told me she put a little lemon juice in there with them so they wouldn't turn brown. And she has an applesauce for a snack and she has some of these little mini cheese balls. I like it whenever Halloween rolls around or trick or treat time rolls around because we see a lot of these little bitty half ounce packages of various and sundry things. This is actually only a quarter of an ounce, so a nice size. And then Brick has a very snacky lunch today. In this little container right here, he's got some ranch dressing for his veggies, cucumbers and carrots, and then he also has some grapes there. And then underneath here, he has a turkey and cream cheese roll up, which is one of our favorite sandwiches, and an apple as well. So Brick, are you gonna put anything else in there with it? You may need like some crackers or something. You need a snack, might, don't you? Yeah, I might do some cheese balls in there some cheese balls. My oldest daughter has always really liked hot lunches and she has many times taken leftovers from previous night's meal in her lunch. And when it comes to using a thermos, one of the things that we have found that helps keep the food warmer a little bit longer is to charge the thermos before putting the food in by putting some hot water in the thermos and letting it sit for a few minutes. Now, obviously, or at least I hope it's obvious, you cannot put a thermos in the microwave and heat up water. <laughs> The easiest way that we have found to do this and a way that my kids can actually do on their own is to utilize the coffee maker. They'll make sure there's not a coffee pot in and then they will start the coffee maker and just let hot water come out into the thermos. And sometimes they'll set the lid on top of that and just let it sit for a few minutes. And while they're doing that, they will heat the food up that they intend to take in the microwave in a microwave safe container. And after about five or 10 minutes with the hot water in the thermos, they'll dump it out and they'll put the hot food in and screw the lid on the thermos and then in it goes to the lunch bag. Today, we've got some chicken nuggets. I helped McKenna make these in the air fryer according to the package directions. We charge the thermos, it's warm, so I'm gonna get the cap on those really quickly to try to help keep those warm until lunchtime. And then here, it looks like we have some veggies and some ranch. And underneath here, we've got some crackers and cream cheese. And there's a little knife here for spreading the cream cheese on. And then these are little mandarin oranges. And right here we have one of these little Nature's Valley oatmeal crumble bars. These are one of McKenna's favorite things for breakfast or a snack. And then some veggie sticks. So I don't know, one of these things is probably for a snack, but there you have it. And then this right here looks like a Lunchable. So we've got some crackers and we have some salami here and some little cheese slices. I think this is sliced cheese that we just folded to make little cheese squares. A yogurt, some mini peppers, some Annie's bunnies, and an apple. So pretty good looking lunch there today too. Future Mindy hopping on here. I felt like I didn't do a very good job of actually explaining my aim for this video while I was filming it. It's not so much about specific lunch ideas, it's more about how we organize our kitchen and different procedures and habits that we have in place that makes that easier for us to do. It is still summer here and we still have highs in the mid 90s most days, so a lot of what my kids are choosing to pack in their lunch are still those kind of summery foods. Sandwiches, tortilla roll-ups, lots of fresh fruit and vegetables, yogurt, crackers and cheese. I do mention hot lunches in this video and as the year progresses and we get into those cooler months, I will probably have some more lunch videos featuring different kinds of lunchbox ideas. But for this video, I wanted to share with you some organizational tips and tricks that we utilize here along with what the kids actually packed in their lunches. So hopefully there is something helpful for you. One of the other routines that we are working on with our children here at the beginning of the school where lunches are concerned is to take care of their lunch bags as soon as they walk in the door. I actually just made a reel about this the other day about looking around for that mystery smell in the kitchen and then discovering that it's a lunchbox. Comment down below if that's happened to you. And by the way, if you're not following me over on Instagram, I'd love to have you. It's at cmindymom. I'm trying to do more reels, put stuff in my stories, and I just share a little bit more about what's going on here in our household and around the kitchen. But back to the lunch boxes. I have told my kids, and I have to remind them sometimes, that as soon as they walk in the door from school or whatever activity they're coming from, there's a place where they put their backpacks. They've, they're in a pretty good habit where that's concerned, so they might as well just take that lunch pail and immediately clean it out. And where the containers are concerned, wash them out immediately and lay them out on the drying mat to dry. And even though a lot of the containers that we use are microwave safe, I just feel like they hold up better if we wash them out by hand 
hand. Plus they're available for us to use immediately the next day because sometimes I don't have to run the dishwasher every single day. And by the way, I got a lot of our lunch containers and lunch bags on Amazon this year. So I will see if I can track down links and leave them in the description box below. Mm -hmm. It says recording. Mm-hmm. Well, how'd you do that? I just pressed that. All right, for lunch, Brick has packed an assortment of things here. We've got a chocolate chip kind bar. We've got some applesauce. Got some popcorn. Some Doritos. I think one of those is a snack. And then a pepperoni cream cheese roll-up. All right, McKenna has some uh, Gardetto's Chex Mix. We got an apple. Got some turkey cream cheese sandwich. Looks like she toasted it. And some cucumbers. I also want to say that my kids do still eat the school lunch several days across the month. They go through the line in the cafeteria and they get whatever the school is serving for that day. And when I was growing up, our cafeteria had its own kitchen with a fantastic dedicated staff of cafeteria workers who lovingly prepared so much food from scratch. Bread products, cinnamon rolls, spaghetti sauce, that delightful square pizza that if you're my age, you probably remember eating in your school cafeteria. In our district, however, a lot of the food prep is outsourced. So the food is mostly prepared offsite and then it's brought to the schools to heat up and serve. Last year, my two youngest kids were eating the school lunch most of the day and I would usually ask them what they had for lunch. And I was worried that they weren't actually eating a lot of what was offered and I did not like the idea. And if you know me, you will understand this. I did not like the idea of things going to waste and food getting thrown in the trash. So I'm encouraging them to pack their lunches a lot this year because I know that they will select things and amounts of things that they will actually consume, that they will actually eat. And when it comes to the school lunch, my kids still eat it. We just print out the menus and they select the days whenever they're having, you know, that popcorn chicken or those beef nachos that they really enjoy having. And they know that on those days they won't have to pack a lunch. I just keep a little money in their lunch account and they can go through the lunch line on those days that they selected. Brick's lunch and snack. Looks like he has a little um, treat square, a little Rice Krispie treat square in here and some grapes and some applesauce. I think this is a leftover taco. The girls and I ate at the church last night and Daniel and Rick came home so they may have gone through the taco drive through and I think maybe that's what that is, a leftover taco. And then some chips and then he is taking this popcorn for a snack. I tried this and it's really good. I like it. It's just a really light snack and um, I think this is pretty good for a classroom snack because you know, they don't like to have them have the cheesy stuff for a classroom snack, which I totally understand because of cheesy fingers. And then over here, McKenna has an old standby for lunches, a turkey and cream cheese roll up. So turkey and cream cheese in a tortilla. You see that all the time. Some cucumbers and then she has a little baby bell and another little tiny Rice Krispie treat square in there and some Doritos. And then she is taking one of these little mini beef sticks and some applesauce for a snack. Ruthie's lunch today. This is my middle schooler who is also a swimmer. And she has a sandwich here and she has some peppers on it and she's using the heel of the bread. Yay, way to go. I'm so proud of her for using stuff up. She likes the crunch of the peppers. All of my kids really like mini peppers or just red, yellow, orange peppers. They like the crunch of them. And she's also taking one of these Cleo Key Lime yogurt and granola bars and some cheddar bunnies. And she has some grapes here as well. That is her first lunch. And well, that's what I'm guessing anyway, because she told me that her perfect pre-swim practice snack slash meal is a sandwich. And it looks like this is a turkey and cheese roll up and an applesauce. She said those things work really, really well to get her through a swim practice, which lasts two hours, four nights a week. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to go to thrivemarket.com slash mom or visit the link in the description box. Pick out one of these videos to watch next and I'll see you there.